So hello everyone, good afternoon and welcome to my vlog. So today we are going to talk about preserving the Arnis. Arnis is a martial art that originated in the Philippines. It is also known as Kali or Eskrima. The Philippine government has recognized it as a national martial art. However, due to the lack of documentation and proper training methods, the, the authenticity of the techniques and history of Arnis are at risk of being lost. Therefore, there is a need to preserve Arnis to ensure its continuation and growth. So, preserving Arnis involves documentation of history, techniques, and training methods. This can be done through research interviews with grandmasters and documentation of training sessions. Additionally, creating a standardized curriculum and certification program that can ensure the authenticity of the art. So one way of preserving the arnis is by education and training. So one of the key of preserving the arnis is through education. And it is important to ensure that the younger generation has a proper access to instruction and guidance in learning this martial art. This can be achieved to the integration of Arnis into school curricula or by establishing dedicated training centers where individuals can learn and practice the art by providing opportunities for people to learn Arnis from skilled instructors. Its tradition and techniques can be passed down to future generations. So that is exactly what we are doing right now. So another way by promoting and awareness. So promoting our needs on national, international level is crucial. So this can be done through various means such as organizing exhibitions, tournaments, and cultural events that showcase the beauty, effectiveness of the martial arts. Additionally, creating awareness campaigns through media platforms, social media, and documentaries can help enterists to attract more practitioners. And also collaborating with tourism boards, including Arnis and Cultural Tourism Initiatives, can also contribute by its promotion. And my last way is to institutional support. So preserving Arnis requires institutional support from both local and national levels. Governments can play a crucial role by recognizing Arnis as an important cultural heritage by providing financial support for its promotion and preservation. This can include funding training centers, organizing events, supporting research initiatives, and collaborating with cultural organizations, support sports associations, and martial arts federations. So it can also create a supportive ecosystem and practice preservation of our needs. So by education, promoting an institutional support, we can ensure that we can preserve our own martial arts. So that would be all for this vlog. Thank you and bye.